of dry docking the vessels is the re-coating of the hull, which has to be done every two and a half to three years. So much work going on in dry dock, both on and off the ship. Water blasting that's going on in the chain lockers. Manual, manual uh, chipping, grinding to take out the rust. Usually, the ships come in, I think they're required to come in every two years. of docking the vessel is to do a reconditioning or refurbishment of the vessel and uh, we hope to do this in a, a timely manner, an efficient manner and a safe manner. I'm Charles Maher, I work for Grand Bahama Shipyard and I'm the uh, project manager for the Caribbean Princess docking. We are presently the second day in docking and uh, in the process of doing a full blast on her hull uh, for standard docking procedures. And uh, we have a full range of uh, ship repair program that's uh, been scheduled for this vessel. The dock blocks are a permanent fixture on the base of the, the dry dock itself. And they're moved in way of the frames to support the frames and it's a naval architecture, naval architect's job to ensure that the vessel is adequately supported by the dock blocks in way of the frames. So they're supported on the transverse frames and the longitudinal frames of the vessel. And that's pretty much calculated when the vessel is built as to where these dock block arrangements will occur when she does her first docking. We drive the ship in, we come in stern first with assistance from uh, what well they have mules on the side which we connect wires to the ship, they pull us in. We have to be dead right in the centre. Literally, when we get in the centre there's still water in. These big walls and the pontoon at the bottom, they're massive tanks which are full with water when we arrive. And then when we're on the block, which they have around maybe 500 blocks, which are all located in strategic points on the, underneath the ship's keel. And then what happens is they pump all the water out of the dry dock and then literally the, the pontoon and the dry dock floats itself. And in, in, in essence, all the water and then is pumped out because the ship floats. And then as soon as the ship hits the, the blocks, that's when she's out of the water and then the dry dock commences. About the uh, bulbous bow, which is right at the front of the ship, a lot of people think that's like an icebreaker on icebreaker ships, but most ship, modern day ships have these now. It's called the bulbous bow. It's basically, its aim is to uh, improve the, the streamline, the aerodynamics of the ship as it goes through the water. Um, it creates a bow wave which counteracts the natural wave frequency on the side of the ship. Uh, it basically reduces friction and allows the ship to run through the water more efficiently. Most of the work that's going on on the exterior of the ship and the ship's hull is mostly paint work and maintenance. 
Also, you can see the anchors have been lowered. We have the two bow and two stern anchors. They're going to be sandblasted and cleaned and then painted so we can see the, the shackles. We're International Paint manufactures the coatings that we supply to Princess Cruises. And this paint was supplied for the Caribbean Princess here in Dry Dock at Grand Bahama Shipyard in Freeport. And the ship is using our, our Intersleep 757 um, silicone based anti fouling coating. Uh, it doesn't have any biocides in it. Smooth coating that uh, reduces uh, drag so the ship can save money on fuel. Uh, back in 2008, we were able to do about 70% of the underwater hull with our Intersleep product here in Freeport. And uh, in this dry docking, we're repairing the existing coatings. And then we're uh, blasting and putting our Intersleep coating on the remaining 30%. Uh, As you can see, we've uh, nearly there. All the paint's been done. The anchors are just about to be uh, hauled back into the ship. We're emptying the water from the engine cooling and uh, we'll be flooding up today probably maybe around about 12.30, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Hopefully to be sailing out this evening around about 8 o'clock. Uh, all the lifeboats will have to be brought back onto the ship. Uh, everything else will have to be cleaned inside and then we're on our way to San Juan. Uh, it's been a long haul but I think it's been worth it if you look at the state of the ship now. It looks really nice with the blue and the white and uh, as I say, nice clean anchors and I'm sure they'll be dirty within a few weeks of us sailing. Grand Bahama Shipyard. She's just in as good as condition as she left the shipyard when she was first built.